All right, and we are live with top four for Lethal League Braves at That's Combo right. Breaker. I'm joined on the mic by Scooter. Hello there. Yep, this is Scooter here. I'm joined with Hi Hi from across the sea. Thank you for joining us it's over nice to in be wonderful here. Chicago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're very happy to be here. Pretty upsetting tournament in terms of the surprising results that we've had just so far. We haven't even gotten to top four mm. yet, but already it's quite an amazing turnout of yeah. the players and just how far each of them have gotten. Yeah, it's been really turbulent, uh, this tournament. We saw Curb losing early to Crollo. We saw Amanda losing early to Ripper. That's right, that's uh, right. Two of the top players in the entire game yeah. in the world yeah. been eliminated uh, as early as top six, really. So mm -hmm. uh, there's a couple of matches happening off stream right now to determine who will be showing up in loser's bracket. So uh, right now, I believe it is Crollo versus Very Epic. And uh, Anthony is facing out with Ripper. Uh, and the, the two winners of those games will be facing off in loser's semi-finals. Uh, uh, for the meantime, we're going straight into um, Jaden is going to be playing against South. That's right. Yep. This is uh, Midwest versus South Coast right over here. <laughs> South Pine versus Meller. Mm. Classic matchup. These guys have been playing the game for a long time. So I think South came back in, like, what, 2019 when he started? 2020? So yeah, he's he's later. He's newer mm. school, I think. Whereas yeah. Jaden's been around forever. Yeah, I mean, Jaden, LL1. Jaden also won Combo Breaker last year. That's true. That's true. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And Returning 2019, champion. he finished fourth. So he's been doing it for a long, long time. Mm -hmm. uh, almost certainly the favorite, the strong favorite to win this whole thing, I'd say. Oh, yeah, definitely. Considering that the other uh, two top seeds that were predicted to be in top four are already out. So who knows, you know? Absolutely. And of course, on the other side of things here, we've got South. Now, Mela, we know is going to be playing the Smutter, but do we have a read on what South's going to be playing today? He's been playing so many different characters today. Usually, he always tries to go with Doombox at land, I find. That's like his main character that he likes to stick with, but he's been switching it up. I saw him play Candyman earlier. I saw him play Switch. <laughs> Jen getting hyped up. Yeah, so we played each other in Doombox Dittos. He sent me into Loser's Bracket, and... He didn't feel super confident. He, he was saying to me at the time he wasn't that happy with it and he might be trying some other things. Yeah, he was telling me as well that same thing, yeah. And we, we go straight in. Hamels are all done. So he is going to be playing the Dimbox to start out. And of course, Jaden bring in the iconic Sonata. Yeah, that's right. Now, a little bit of uh, early ball control. Can we shove around? This is best of five. Mm -hmm. So they do have a bit more time to adapt there. And first yep. blood being taken by Sal. All right, not, not falling for these parries. They're just uh, playing pretty safe right now. Okay, okay. Doesn't want to get stuck in the corner. Nice. Oh, All right. Really Simple strong backspike. angle. You know, it, mm -hmm. there's a lot of focus in this game about timing mix-ups and left-right mix-ups. That's, right, that's right. In that instance, he's able to get the ball over his head, take a clean stop. And especially as a controller player, Jaden has a much harder time doing air turns, but that doesn't stop his consistency. It just means it's a little bit more taxing on him. Yeah, absolutely. It's really solid ball control right now. You know, for, for such a high stakes match, this is uh, winners finals. Winners uh, advances into grounds. This is a pretty pretty crazy match, but they seem pretty confident. You know, not too much flubbing, maybe a little bit here and there. Yeah, Jaden's taking a pretty early lead right here. South Pine's down by two stocks right now, but has a slight health lead. Never mind, he did. This game goes by super quick. Anything can happen any second now. Well, this is always the hardest thing for the competitor. Oh, oh yep, huge there it is. parry. Very nicely played. Now let's talk strategy a little bit. Here. All right. So uh, from Jaden's perspective. He's a stock up. What does he want to be doing on Sonata? Probably keeping the ball speed at a medium kind of area. He doesn't need to raise it to like 120. He could easily do it with a smash, but he doesn't need to kind of thing. Since South's already in kill zone, he doesn't need to raise the ball. And just like that, one nice. down throw will take it. Doesn't Huge need to put throw. himself in any kind of dangerous range. It's really interesting. It's the one thing that I think newer players struggle with a little bit more. It's oh, keeping yeah. the ball speed low. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, you see the, the million speed match compilations on YouTube. Yeah, yeah, Actually, yeah. Actually, these players rarely oh. go above 200. Wow, that was really, really strong micro play. Oh, yeah. Ending the parry super soon like that, so the grab denies is... It's one of the like, most common ways that you'll get grab denies, but man, is it so infuriating to have happen to you. Yeah, absolutely. And then from the other perspective, what's uh, what's the Doombox player looking for here? Ooh, I don't, anything at this point. He only has <laughs> one stock left right now. Jaden has such a huge lead here. South needs to make something happen. Okay, we're going. We're keeping the ball speed slow. No one really wants to speed it up right okay, now. Okay, all right. Common tactic for people on their last stock. They uh -huh. often slow the ball as much as possible. That's right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Safe. They don't mind getting a little bit chipped. I think it's a oh, try to keep go. the momentum on their side. Can he finish it okay. out? Okay. Ooh, oh, gets past the down, the down butt wall. Oh, he oh, went for the, the nice, nice angle. angle. That would have been and crazy. And died? Oh. Died to a straight. He has so much time to respond. I really wanted to see that. Okay. <laughs> and he dies yeah. to a typical lethal league. <laughs> You hit the ball, but this, this is why we want to keep the ball speed low when it's clutch. Oh, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. just a little bit of chip damage can take it out. Exactly. All you need is just that little bit when it's at that speed. It could be eight ball speed, but if it hits you, you're gone. 
and they just check in the lobby. Oh, so we are doing uh, two PC setups right now. So two PCs are playing online match right. locally to each other. All right. Yeah, so one, one of the weird things about Leafa League is it is mostly an online game played by a lot of keyboard players. So a lot of keyboard players. When they finally meet IRL, we don't get that many lands, but when, when, when we do have the lands, people show up. We also single digit though. What is going on here? Nine nine pink's pretty pretty nice. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. We do sometimes have to improvise with the setups a little bit. Sometimes, yeah. Uh, now we're seeing an early an early character switch. So in this game, winners are character locked. But it looked like South Pine made a switch over to Candyman, That's which right, he yeah. was feeling the Candyman a little bit earlier. He was playing Candyman. I think he won a few games with the Candyman. I've been sleeping on it because I just don't see it from South that often. I mean, mm. you never, he's pretty unpredictable in the characters that he plays, so. The thing is, Candyman's just such a strong character. So That's we right. just did the 2024 community tier list. Candyman, the first character to be put in S plus tier. Because he's just that, I mean, that is online. This is an offline match, of course. I think regardless, but consistently across every single community tier list we've ever tried to do, Candyman has always been in like the top two or top three area. Yeah, absolutely. So what is it that makes him strong? Let's, let's uh, explain it to the viewers. I think the main thing, crazy good angles, really floaty, good jumps, and great special. Oh. And seemingly just bunts through parries like it's no big deal. Yeah, yeah. South admittedly does have one of the best ideas that because a lot of players just stick to one character and only play that one character. But I think South's idea of switching off characters to, ca to counter pick is really what you should be doing here. And he makes it work. The thing is, exactly. a lot of players, they, they, it's really hard to main multiple characters in this game. It is. It's very hard. But South is one of the best when it comes to multi maining. You know, he can pick up characters and actually his Candyman looks as good as some of the best Candyman I've, I've ever seen. Oh, yeah, no, his Candyman is making work happen right now. I'm. The thing is, because this game is so focused on uh, fundamentals, you can make that work. Oh my god. That was an amazing catch there. Okay. Yep. Was that a P2 parry? Uh, he, said, he said all day he was demanding P2. And this game does have some weird poor priorities, so maybe he was going for something spicy. There is a little Jaden unfazed. <laughs> Didn't even notice it. <laughs> okay, special but still in it, right? That's a nice little angle storage there. Down throw. Wow, oh, yeah. big spike. Yep, yep, yep. So this is where Candyman really shines. He's got such a versatility of angles. He has some of the best offensive angles in the game. He has angles to keep the ball to himself. He's got a really wide spike range. And it all comes together, he's got the whole package. Yeah, he has everything that makes a character wow, good in this nice game. Wow, nice power. There's a lot of characters who only have one good... Oh my god! Oh, oh my god! god. Oh okay, my god, right. Oh wow. down throw! What a down throw. Come on! And, and this character switch is working out for Sal. He's yeah, two it, stocks up. This is a good idea. Oh, he barely missed that shot. Okay, down throw. He's going to get a free catch. Can we give it up. Again, catch it again. Sounds playing so patiently right now, barely yeah. moving on the ground at wow. all. Wow. Air nice. turn forward spike. Air Just turn. like that. Yeah. That this was a good decision to so pick Candyman. South is showcasing some really interesting defensive options there, right? Yeah. So a key element of the defensive strategy of this game is uh, what we'd call safe zoning, mm -hmm. where you know we can't always cover every option of the ball, but actually he's covering as much as he can and then making sure that he's not going to die to anything else. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. The way how you defend mostly in this game, because there is no defensive button or anything like that, it's all about your positioning and your movement. So as long as you're positioned in the right place, then you'll be in the position where you want to be or that you can catch a certain ball moving at a specific angle that you're trying to wow, read Wow, hard read. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a great read on that area Yeah, right there. Abs absolutely. And on the positioning, you know, like... Oh my, oh my god. The second parry. One more. Do it again. Please. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Third, he wanted course. it. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, and nice. doesn't get the turn. Yep, yep, yep. So that's another of uh, Sonata's great strengths. So Sonata's another character with good angles, but not as versatile. But uh -huh. she's got an amazing spike. Mm -hmm. That back spike is uh, vicious. And one of the best specials in the game. Really, really versatile. That's true, that's true. There's been a lot of okay. development Free in the Sonata meta lately. A lot of players have picked her up, and a lot of the players have been making great, great tech with her. Oh, that oh. was a nasty candy ball. Just barely missed that. But caught it anyway. Yeah, yeah. Okay. We're wall porting. Wall porting may be a little under, underutilized by a lot of Candyman. But it's the only way uh, in the game. Oh my god, that down angle. Jesus Christ. Killer. So Cat wall target. porting is really cool because it's the only way you can get to the other side of the stage that any character has. Oh yeah, no, And no, it, it's yeah. another example of really creative positioning manipulation that yeah. South can use to his advantage. I'm pretty sure every character has some kind of unique movement ability that makes them stand out from the rest of the cast. And Candyman's is probably the best in the whole game. He just goes to the other side of the stage mm. and it, it is amazing. Some players make that the base of their entire play style, just constantly going back yeah. and forth. Yeah, shout out to Body Kill. That's right, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, yeah. the GO. <laughs> There's some players who just incorporate it a little oh. bit, but it is so Oh, okay. parry confirmation. Great Jaden answering back. Mm -hmm. yeah, this, yeah, is, yeah. this is where you need to be careful, because the Candyman player picks up momentum, and suddenly you're on a 3-0 uh, run. That's right, yeah. 
Jason's but. showing that he can adapt to this candy man. Even if he is just going to boulder and stand still as much as he can. <laughs> okay, interesting. Doesn't get the uh, the instant release. Ooh, Doesn't get the catch. grab follow. Swung right into a good grab. Wow, nice grab. Because they're playing so confidently around each other. Yeah, Usually we find the players uh, like to stamp back a little bit more, but they're just going in. They're really aggressive, and their air turns are really hard to input, but they're doing it. They're working it. They're making nice. it work. One more catch. Damn, damn. Yep. Oh, yep. the wall trap! Oh, that's nice. death. Jaden is so good at getting those confirmed. Those confirms are crazy. That yeah. is amazing. And that's actually one of Sonata's biggest weaknesses, right? That's is right, that that's when right. she parries, she often just doesn't hit the pullback. Uh, uh, not all of her angles will do a good job of looping into the opponent or going right for him. So, but if you just use her special right out of that parry, you can direct it right at them. And Jaden has so much experience doing beautiful that. Beautiful game. Beautiful Sound adaptation. Sticking on Candyman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's feeling it. Interesting choice. He obviously wasn't feeling the Doombox so much. I, I guess so. Yeah, all right then. He's open for a comeback here. Maybe if he loses this match, you think he'll slip? All right, let's go into game four. So Factory is a not necessarily beloved stage. Uh, some people like it. It's, I think it's the biggest stage in the whole game. Is that right? I think next to like pool, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. So pool's the tallest. Right? Yeah. So oh, yeah. Right, right, right. In terms of volume, for sure. Um, but it means the players do have a little bit more space to work with. The really aggressive players tend to like stages like Desert and Subway, where the stages are really small. You can keep yourself close to the opponent. Less time to react for certain things going on to you, yeah. And uh, I think Candyman likes the space, because Candyman's dream scenario is to let a massive down air loose and just let it do its thing. Yeah, exactly. Let a candy train around. The opponent has no idea where it's going to go. That's what Candyman ultimately wants. Uh, concerningly, you know, I, I feel like I, I looked at you for like two seconds, but three stocks ago. What's going on here? Jaden's having a hard time on this stage, yeah, I don't know. It doesn't seem like it's helping to not here. Oh, okay. okay, bringing it back. Little foothold, though. Oh, oh my god, the blaze works. safe. That thing lasted for so long. Oh, it doesn't get the parry. South, really good movement right now. Really good position. Yeah, nice. Just back and forth, keeping it simple. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, are we about to see a five star? This looks like it might be a five star. Okay. Now at this point, you know, when the nice. oh, okay, okay, we were safe though. We're living. <laughs> at this point, it's really, it's really easy to get in your own head. This yeah. game no, moves yeah, yeah. so fast, you don't have time to think. The thing that I love the most about this game too is that reverse five stocks aren't even that uncommon. It happens far more than people might realize. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. No, not right here though. Wow. Not on this match. Huge pop off himself off stream. Oh, I don't yeah. think the camera was on him, but that was a that was a massive pop off. Okay, we take it to two two two. I think South is like fifth seed. Jaden's first seed. I think Jaden's first or second. Yeah, then South South's not even in top four seed. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, yeah. South might have been third because I think I think very epic was a little bit lower. But um, South was definitely not the favorite to win this. Mm -mm. No, but, no, you know, no. We were talking slightly lower odds for sure, but uh, he's he's holding firm here. Yeah, he's pulling through, showing the, that the SoCal crusher. Yeah, something about it. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the smog <laughs> in the air. So you've played SoCal. Uh, so you've played um, South a lot more, being in SoCal. Yeah, yeah. How does he adapt in these situations? Because he's known for being quite an emotional player, right? I just realized that Jaden picked Latch. Wait, I'm uh, sorry. Jaden just went from Sonata to Latch. My Game five my, against South. My brain didn't even register that. <laughs> what, what's going on? I, like, I, we're in the zone. We've had long days. But th this is crazy. It's so rare to see Latch in this situation. For the audience watching, Latch is commonly considered to be not the, not necessarily the worst, but probably second worst or third worst character around mm. there. Very close to the bottom of the tier list, though. And Jaden pulling him out here, game five, is quite a choice. Yeah, he obviously thinks he can get it done. Interesting. Uh, he made the same character switch adaptation against Amanda last year at the Grand Finals. So he, he went to Switch, oh. who is the second best character in the game. Right, right, right. Uh, so to go into a bottom tier is really unusual. Yeah, very, very strange choice. I mean, I have faith in him. I believe that if he did it against Amanda, then I'm sure he knows what he's doing with his character. But this is a tough matchup for Lash, and I think every Lash main will agree. Wow, great catch. That was a huge catch. The thing is, what Latch has over Candyman is speed. That's true, yeah. So when they go for the power race, L Latch actually is has some favorable situations. One more one, yes, nice. Now great this is a, a really great example of where the confirmation is much harder. Yeah, he has yeah. to go into special, he has to bunt it into the wall to get the kill. Okay, keep it slow. We're just chilling. Okay, all right. Little, little wall angle. Not quite, not quite. A little bit of maybe missing foot. Jaden trying to be the first latch to get into Mac one. Jeez, yeah, he is holding <laughs> the line here. I think I think the latch pick might have been the best possible choice here against South. South is probably it expecting a switch or a raptor or something, you know, something that makes sense. That's true. You know, that's absolutely true. There's no way 
South practiced against this matchup. Exactly. There's so absolutely no shot. I was telling myself, the only reason I'm going to pick Jet in this tournament in this, in this set is because nobody's been practicing against Jet players. There's right. no way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Wow. Harry okay. extension. Bring it. Base out the catch. on him. The Last crowd stop. is yelling. Last stop. Gets the parry. Are we, are we going to burst nine? Doesn't go for the super. One more. Oh, oh okay. Gets grabbed. Gets grab. grabbed. No Gets glitch. Grab. Gets oh, the grab. Oh, I have a grab. The reverse. Can he do it? Can he clutch oh, it out? Oh, tries to go for it again. That happen. would have been the grab of the year. That would have been insane. <laughs> South reverse taunting right. on him. Oh, they're both going oops. We got one more. We love, we love okay, the oops. Okay. Let's have it. It's insane the, right the now. The crowd are going nuts right now. Oh, let's go for the parry. Doesn't get it. He's going to go for the race. Doesn't get there. One more. Okay, okay. Spiking. Oh, gets the grab. Oh, Not dead yet. Okay, okay, still living. Good, still good. living. Oh, oh no my shot. lord. The grab. Oh, my god. I thought he was dead. He gets it. Yeah, yeah, Doesn't okay. get the parry, gets oh it, the down god. spike! Oh my god! Jaden on Jayden match is off the stage. advances to Grand Finals. Jaden oh is Oh my in. god. If he wins this, he's going to start I actually surfing. cannot believe what I've just seen. He, that is a huge <laughs> pop-off. A well-deserved <laughs> pop-off. Game five, Absolutely. first nine. That's Latch. how we do it. There's no weak shit in Lethal League. Latch! He went from Sonata, who's like top three right now, what to a, Latch. What a legend. And, and what a legend. South Pine. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. For running it back to, you know, game five, uh -huh. taking it to first nine on a character that he wasn't really supposed to be maining today. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. I think they're both playing crazy good today. They're both playing out of their minds. Oh, my lord. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love Jaden. What a character. Miller loves playing for the audience. Okay, now this is a, a fun surprise for us now, is that we get to see who got into loser semifinals. That's right, we're not exactly sure. We, we don't know either of the players. We got a pretty good idea, but we're not exactly sure there. Oh, it's good to see Curb cheering in the crowd there. Oh, I see him. I see. Okay, so we've got Crollo and we've got Ripper. Ooh. Which which means very epic is out. That's right. That's and out. Anthony is Anthony out. Anthony is out. That is. Those are two crazy upsets. Those on top the, of the Amanda and Curb upsets. Because Epic and Anthony were some of the people who actually knocked out some of the killers that we expected in so this tournament, right? Four of the top six got eliminated before the top four. I don't think. I'm not even sure if these guys were seeded top eight. They were like. They must have been around tenth for sure. That's crazy. They're, That's they're, insane. I mean, yeah. pro props to them for making such sick runs. Uh huh. No, th th this tournament was absolutely stacked. Like everybody else was saying online, the amount of people who came out just for this event was absolutely crazy. It is by far and away the most stacked LAN this game has ever seen, and um, I think we owe it to the community for putting in the effort, getting over, yeah, yeah, flying yeah. from all sorts of places. So absolutely. Thank before you this, we were talking about the storylines, and some of those players didn't didn't make it in, but. <laughs> You know, Not we've got the uh, the return of uh, Amanda and Jaden right. from from the Midwest. We had the invasions for the you and South yeah, from the West South Coast. Curb and Monk from the East Coast. Very epic from Canada. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I that's I, right. I was here <laughs> from 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 sunny UK. Yeah, you know, yeah. I placed like no, I placed in there. <laughs> we didn't. We, we won't talk about that. We but we, we've about. had players coming from all over the world that's true, that's to true. get involved in this game. And, you know, this game's sick as hell. They yeah. should be getting involved. And online, you know, we're super welcoming to anybody internationally, you know. I guess the only recommendation is that we speak English to each other. But aside mm. from that, anybody is welcome, honestly, in the community. Absolutely. Yeah, it's a really, really welcoming place. Uh, now's probably a good time to talk about the Discord. So yes. there is a Discord that we have. It's called uh, the Lethal League Blaze Stadium. I'm hoping someone will be spamming it in, in Twitch chat. I think it's uh, discord.gg slash LLB Stadium. That is basically the, the sole competitive hub for this game. So uh, we have... Tournaments every fortnight. Oh, uh, we yeah, have constantly. new player tournaments run by Desily, uh, one of the community goats, and those are once a month. So first weekend of every month, which I guess will be like next weekend Pretty or the soon weekend I think after. It's be coming up. Yeah, and the the new player tournaments are 200 hours or lower. So mm -hmm. if you want to go into bracket and not get bodied by some crusher from Brazil, uh, you know that's that's the best way to get involved and learn the game. Oh, fab. And uh, we've just got a little uh, little slide on the screen. So uh, now's a really great time to be registering for EVO as well. So I don't think we've got much of a Lethal League Blaze presence at EVO at the moment, but uh, it would be great to get some more people there. Mm -hmm. So Regardless. there's a code on screen. You can register 10% oh, yeah. off. 10% off sounds great. Yeah, definitely. I know many many of the people who come to Combo Breaker are definitely going to be going out to EVO. It's one of those great big uh, North American events that everybody loves coming out to. Everybody loves supporting our local fighting game communities. Yeah, absolutely. It's uh, it's a really massive tournament. It's not one I've ever made it out to, but I would absolutely love to go to Vegas and, uh, and, and hey, come I mean, and see it at some point. Ten percent off, you know? Why not? CB twenty twenty four. Why not? It's the one. Um, Discord.gg Discord slash LLB Stadium. Yeah. What else is going on there? So 
We've got a belt system over in Stadium. It's That's a really right, good way to progress as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've been uh, fixing it up. Before it was a little bit uh, stagnant that we had some stuff going on with it. We finally updated it, got it more modernized and stuff, made it more accessible to everybody who's coming in. And and it provides a, a nice sort of extrinsic uh, exactly. goal setting system. So as you're coming up through the ranks and learning the game, it's a, it's a nice way to sort of see your progression in action. Exactly, as opposed yeah. to, you know, just look at the tournament results and maybe go 0-2 for a long time. There are, there are those steps from 0-2 to 2-2 where, you know, you want to feel like you're improving a little bit. So yeah, we've been working a lot on that. It can definitely be very discouraging for players just to keep entering tournaments and not seeing that kind of results that they want to be seeing in themselves. So just having that little bit of extra boost of confidence that we can provide for, you know, more than happy to help them out. Absolutely. Uh, let's talk about this matchup. Yeah, okay. So, Ripper. Ripper. You've seen him with his bag of grapes earlier. <laughs> He was, he's been looking for grapes all Unfortunately, weekend. they've mostly thawed out at this point, but <laughs> he did have this amazing strat of coming here with frozen grapes. And we all, we all said that it was preposterous. There's no way this is going to work. This is an insane thing. He is in top four. He's done it. He's I'm brought, not in he's, top four. He's brought the grapes on stream. <laughs> yeah, there they are. He's and uh, he's representing Raptor. That's right. So that's not really a character that we were expecting to see that much. That's probably one of the most interesting things about the LLB meta that I've seen and like observed over my entire time playing it. I would have assumed that Raptor would be like a staple character that everybody would have. He's, He's supposed to be the Raptor. Ryu of the game, right? Like, right, exactly. But in reality, I found that's a lot of players like to gravitate like, towards the more interesting or kind of out there characters that kind of speak to them personally, more or less. But yeah, it's really good to see at least one Raptor out here so we can see what the character's like for all y'all. Great, great character. It wouldn't be a standard for everybody if he wasn't just a baseline good character. Yeah, for sure. He's a, he's a, a weird character because he works better online. So on the online tier list, he's slightly higher ranked, mostly because um, he's got one of the most evil uh, special moves I've ever seen in any fighting game. On high ping, it can, yeah, it's almost not fair. Um, so the way that works is uh, he does a little spin and then he shoots it in any angle, but it ends up serving as like a 16-way mix-up, which is uh, it's pretty it's pretty wild. Yeah, it's something like 16 or 17 different angle choices you can choose out of it. You get like a, a set option of like seven or so, but then if you bunt it, you get an access to all of them, the other ones that you had. Plus and you, you can, can hold it longer. It. Yeah, 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 it's yeah. insane the amount of mix-ups that that one special has, but it's evened out by it not really being some, it's something that you can play around. You can bunt it if you're uh, predicting it early, if you read that they're going to do it with the right timing. So there's a lot of counterplay to it as well. It's not just a one kind of strategy dominates it all sort of game. Absolutely. And then on the other side of things, we've got Crollo. Now, Crollo is a, a fascinating player. Mm -hmm. um, I think I saw him playing Dice earlier. He also plays a lot of Switch. That's right, yeah, Switch as well. Notably, he has a really weird play style in that he doesn't press parry. Not so no, what's, no, no, what's, what's up with that? <laughs> There's like a dead set number of people that I've noticed on the community who really don't like playing around parry, and I can totally understand. It doesn't feel necessarily great, but there was one player in particular who, if you parried against them in rank, they would just quit out of the match, and that was it. You're done. We're not playing Was anymore. that Faddox? Yeah, that was Faddox. Oh, uh, yeah. Faddox, uh, the person who once hosted a no parry tournament, which was, uh, that was really interesting. That's wonderful. Um, but uh, yeah, it's, it's kind of, I think he's been sort of seen as been held back by this limitation, but actually he's out here making it work. He's on, he's on stream, he's in top four. If he's in top four, then it clearly wasn't nearly enough of a limitation as people were thinking it was. I'm going to say he probably relaxed on that policy of like no parrying period. I'd imagine he still does do some parrying. I think I've seen a few from him. Yeah, yeah exactly. It's kind of like a, it's almost required at a high level of play to do parrying. I think the, the interesting one, because uh, so last year when we had the stream, we had three Sonata players make it into top four. We Which thought it was going to be nothing but Sonata. Suddenly top become four. very popular. I think people have realized just how good she is. She's very but this fun time to play. we're seeing the Raptor, and then we're seeing the um, we're seeing either the Switch or the Dice. In fact, it looks like he's locking in Dice. Mm -hmm. Now this is really interesting because we never see Dice. Yeah, I don't think we've um, ever seen one at Combo Breaker. Daiatsu has been retired for ages. ages Dodge Drafter ages. doesn't play the game that much anymore. Uh, Camelo is really good, but doesn't doesn't really play that much. Are there any other dice players? I don't think I've seen many. I mean, SSD is only online. SSD, yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. It's it's a pretty sparse market. The amount of dice players that are out there, yeah, it's a. Uh Slim it's, it's rough for dice. Mm -hmm. uh, what does dice do differently that the other characters don't? So what what his are his main difference? I'd say to almost every character is up angle. Like a lot of characters, their right. up angle is what makes. This, yeah, he's showing off the grapes. Yeah, that's right. We, we got the grapes. We believe in you, man. <laughs> <laughs> the grape god Ripper. Are they got the crowd cheering for the grapes? I think they're getting into games. So okay. uh, this up angle is really really steep. That's yes. what makes it particularly. Oh, it's just raining. Oh, they're they're checking it. out. Maybe we'll see it. Is Maybe he going to do, do it? Going to do a little up angle first? Oh, he's going to eat a grape real quick. Oh, Can we get grape. back to the player cam. They're, they're making a whole show of it, I guess. Oh, oh he's sharing oh, his love. This there is the goes. kind of community spirit that we love. <laughs> Big up the grapes. <laughs>
So oh, yeah, Dice's up angle is really steep. And very steep. Extremely unique angle in that um, it basically just plays it to himself. Yeah, It's exactly. not quite as a, a abusive as an angle as Switch's up air. Mm. Sorry, Switch's up angle, which goes behind him. Exactly right. But it catches people off guard because it's really hard to defend. If you stand even a, a, like an inch too far back, it'll bounce twice off the ceiling and hit you in the face. The beautiful design with it is that in order to cover it, if you're really trying to cover all of Dice's angles like right up in his face, then you're almost playing in his parry range, and it'd be very easy for the Dice player to convert your positioning into a parry, you know, confirm. Yeah, for sure. Do you think we're going to see any uh, Dice glitch angles this game? I think they're going to try for it. Dice is known for that glitch. He likes to go up in the very top of the screen in the corner and then do a special in such a way that it instantly releases. Oh, that was the up angle. So we saw it there. Even though, uh, even though it didn't hit, it sort of kept the ball very, very close to where he needed it. Even, even though his up angle was really steep, that, uh, that spike angle is super horizontal too, so it's a very, very interesting character to have to play against. You have to play against both those extremes of really, really narrow and really, really steep. Yeah, absolutely, and he's a, he's a really compact character. This is how uh, Dodge Draft used to describe him. Oh yeah. He sort of, you know, he can do little combos in the corner, keep things to himself, not use that much of the screen. And set up for some crazy glitch angle off the ceiling. Oh, oh wow. Wow. The simple timing mix up though. Just keep it simple. And you know, I think this is probably the thing that these two players have done best this entire tournament. Every other player has been stressing out, has been trying to uh, use really difficult strats. Oh yeah, no, this is very, very... These guys, they keep it simple. Ooh! Wow. That was an amazing down special right there, almost chopping him right there. He had practically no time to react. I think all Ripper would have had to do there is maybe do a tap charge, but man, that was tough to react to. Okay. Okay. <laughs> all right, all right, that's a good defense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't want to get hit by that. Run away from it. It was good. Uh, it's good patience, though. The thing is, absolutely, it's so easy to just eat parries in this game. The patience to not eat the parry, slow it down, play at your pace. Let's have one more. Yeah, I know. Comparing this to like Beller and South's gameplay, like they're constantly bunting it, doing ball control, getting super, and then doing it again and just repeating their combos. And these guys are just playing against each other, like super slow and passively, almost. And the thing is, when you're on LAN, which people forget because this is a mostly Discord-focused game. That's right. Uh, people online. forget about how important it is to stay composed in the in the live environment. That's right. That's right. Okay. Ooh, all right. All okay, right. One nice more. We, there. we do up angles. Oh, grab. One more. <laughs> it's on. No goblin. Okay. Oh and no! <laughs> swings into the parry. Wow. All right, Ripper. Taunting to get bodies. That is that's not, how we do it. That is not an example of the patience we were just talking about. <laughs> <laughs> no, he must have heard us. <laughs> yeah, he's got a that's, that's a commentator's curse for it sure. It is commentator's curse there. Very even game so far though. I mean, every single time one player has gotten any kind of a stock lead over the other, it instantly comes back around. So this this match could go either way, honestly, right now. I don't see any any major advantage. Yeah, for sure. And uh, I think this is the, the, the big difference now is that all of the games we played, we had a, we had a tight time in Windows, so every game was best of three. Plenty of room for upsets, plenty of room for nerves to, to creep in, and oh, yeah. uh, very difficult to adapt. These games are all best of five. There's plenty of adaptation that can take place here. Exactly, yeah. And I hope that we're going to see a lot more character switching as well and counter picking in that kind of way. Yeah, oh. I would, uh, I'd love to see the switch come out. Absolutely. Great throw there from Crollo. Going to finish off game one there. Ripper making... Sorry, Crollo making the run. Crollo is looking incredibly strong today. Considering he's played like three or four matches in a row in loser's bracket. He's been on a and tear. Somehow yeah. he's still, somehow he's still winning. Neither Crollo or Ripper were projected to be getting this far in the tournament, but it is amazing to see how well they performed so far. Now let's talk about Paul. Nobody likes Paul except for me. It's a big stage. <laughs> this stage is tall as hell. Oh yeah. A lot of characters will have a hard time getting to the ceiling on this stage. Yeah, so Dice has a super jump he can get up there. Uh -huh. Raptor has uh, wall, wall jumps, jumps yep. but like it's not ideal. Yeah, no, it's not the best. It really benefits characters like Sonata and Doombox who can, uh, who can sort of dominate the skies on this one. Move around the, the most easily. Sonata with her triple, ju triple jump and then Doombox being able to fly, yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Okay. We're just keep it in the... Keep it in the Oh yeah, he's not hitting the parry button. Is he, right. is he gonna? Is he gonna parry? <laughs> Hello. We're just you know we're keeping it simple. Keep it simple. Down Okay. Uh, special? No. One more. Bare bones. And there's the Raptor special. There it is. Yeah. That's yep. the power of that move. Because he can he can choose at the last second. Wait for them yeah. Crollo to respond to the spin and then choose the angle he wants. And it's such a good mix up too to just keep going with the smash angle that you've already locked into it. Opponent might be thinking you're changing up with something. Yeah, oh sure. wow! Great grab there. Incredible grab read. Good grab. Nice. And another wall confirm. It's a difficult skill. It's something it that you really need to stay composed for. Because if you're not right there to, to special into bun, then you're not going to get that. It'd be super easy to misinput it into just a regular parry. Because you're hitting the bun input anyway, but you need to make sure to get that special input first. Wow! What a great catch. 
Oh, well. the down bun. That ball was so low. Yeah, you had to spam smash, I think, in order to get <laughs> your swing. Yeah, absolutely. Now, down bun's really interesting. It's one of the only true kill confirms in this game. Pretty much, yeah. There's not really that much true in this game. It's, it's you know, sort of often uh, building up area control and space control and then, uh, you know, cashing in your advantages. Okay. Instant recatch. Waiting for the yep. Oh, yep, he doesn't. Yep. He doesn't parry. There was no blue. Why, to grab. why, why are you grabbing? <laughs> wow. wow. A little bit of uh, loss of composure there. Yeah. Yeah. I'm surprised that Crollo didn't do anything there. I think he might have got caught in turnaround animation, or maybe he wanted to bunt it, but then saw the yeah. blue. And, yeah. It's difficult when you get stuck in a charge and you're facing the wrong way, and your brain's just saying, "Hold that button." Yeah. Yeah. It could yeah, be yeah. tough. This. It's going to be tough for Crollo to bring this back here. He has a three stocks to get through out of Rippers, but it's definitely doable, but oh, not with not with that little help. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, and that's it. That's it. Strong composure from Ripper there, bringing it back. Mm -hmm. Are we going to take every game to game five? <laughs> Are we going to have to come and take like 25 matches? Oh, we told him I, that this you know game what? didn't take that long. I hope so. I hope so. <laughs> well, this is the thing. This game is pretty fast. It is pretty quick as far as things go. It's very rare to see any kind of match go over like two minutes. I don't think I have ever seen a timeout in this game. Oh, ever. no, I've never seen a On a five-minute timeout. It's like two minutes per game for sure. Oh, yeah. Ooh, we might get for the down throw there. All right, one more. Keep it simple. Doesn't catch that up angle. And, you know, I'm a little bit disappointed in the corpse juggles. I was just going to say, I was just thinking that this corpse juggling, B3 would probably be making fun of it. I hope he is. I'm a, I hope he is. I, I want to see some, I want to see some Josh talk up. Right I'm not reading it, but I'm sure he is. <laughs> Ooh! Wow, really Great nice grab. Around. Yeah, wonderful. The corpse hopping is, uh, is one of the, the things that makes this game most unique, right? Yeah, so yeah, it, yeah. It's a controversial, arguably controversial uh, degree, thing. Yeah, controversially true, yeah. But it's one of the most beloved mechanics in this game is that you can uh, you can beat up your opponent's corpse once they're dead. Yep, makes and, this game uh, super I'll... unique and you know gives it that just flavor that people love. Oh, it's beautiful. Because it's the same mechanics that you're using to combo for, like the ball anyway, so it's good practice. Yeah, for sure. Okay, one more. Keeping the ball All the way control. down. No, he catches wow, it. Read it. See, okay. The grab. Oh, I thought that might be a really nice timing mix up there, but he actually followed it up after. He just barely missed that grab there. Yeah, for sure. I do like the idea that Crollo's having there, where he's not anywhere near Ripper, but he still uses a parry. I'm going to assume that that's just to condition Ripper to think he's going to be throwing out more parries, but right. I do like that idea. Trying to get your opponent's head like that. And I think Ripper is the kind of player who will see that and will note it down and will try and respond to it. Right, right. He's a very reactive player. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> are they? I think the crowd are yelling at him to taunt. No, I think they're, they cheered because he took the hat off. Or oh, <laughs> sorry, of course. <laughs> well, they were asking him to do something. <laughs> we're going for hatless lethal league right now. This crowd is rowdy right now. They are they're making plenty of noise that we can hear them. Yeah, it's uh it's a great crowd. Oh wonderful, yeah. Especially I'm so when happy you're when people came out here for this. Yeah, for sure. When you're the last game of the stream, there's always a bit of a worry that people are you know, tired, they're gonna go home, they're gonna watch grand finals of other games, but Leafly community locking it down. Oh yeah, no, definitely always here for this. Okay, we're going to game four. Ripper Still takes two. switches. We're sticking with these dice raptors. I think, I think like we were saying earlier, Southpine is very unique in that he actually does do character switches or like tries to do counter picking with his characters. Yes. A lot of char uh, players will just stick with what character that they know best and they'll just always play that one character. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it might, it might, wow, I mean, that corner angle's uh, That's beautiful. killer. He's been going for it every time, too. Yeah, yeah, Ripper yeah. was probably predicting the next one, yeah, going all the So way what down. makes Dice really interesting there is he, he has mix-ups out of that, yeah, that, yeah, that yeah. rollout move. So he can get in there and parry in between. He can go in uh, with a grab and, and do throw time in mix-ups. And his main mix-up with that special is whether or not he wants it to come out of that top corner or whether he wants it to roll all the way down and then come out of the bottom corner. Absolutely. Crow, still looking strong. Maybe he's going to take it again five. It looks like Crollo really likes these smaller stages. I think he gets a lot out of like lowering the reaction time that Ripper has to yeah, see what's sure. coming at him. Yeah, for sure. That's gonna He's kill. Just standing on the left. there. <laughs> okay. We, we don't want to. We're just gonna. We can pretend that didn't happen. Sorry about that. <laughs> that grab, I have huge respect for, honestly. Unless Ripper has full uh, meter, there's nothing that Ripper can do in that situation. So it's a super safe grab to do. But if he has full meter, then yeah, you just die to super deep. <laughs> Oh, I actually love Ripper's use of keeping the ball in the air above him when he gets knocked down like that. He's baiting out the blaze get up so right. hard right now. Yeah, yeah, for sure. All right, we're bringing it back. Back to three stocks apiece. 
Uh, okay, we are back. We are live. We are live with Lethal League plays. We are going into loser semifinals. We're, we're, we're back on stream. We're, we're good to go. Stream. We're back here, everybody. Welcome. We're going to be finishing out this set. Or, yeah, the set between Ripper and Prolo here. The game that we got interrupted on, we're going to see if we're resetting on here. Not sure if we're going to be resetting on the exact stock counter or not, which is how we usually do it. Yep. But all right, so it looks like, oh, yeah, no, 3 1. Okay, all right. Down to 3 stock. Okay, all right, yeah. So they set up properly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that it? I can't remember what I can't remember what the stock count was. I, yeah, I'm not. No, they're still playing. Uh, okay. still going, still they going. said it was three three when it. Okay. When, so they they just they just decided to start the uh, instead of starting all the way over, they were gonna go back to three three just and, three, three, and three. finish this round. Okay, okay, sounds good. All right, so we're in with three three. So actually, it's a uh, very even game. Yeah, it's I even. Yeah, there's there's plenty of chance to adapt. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. They're not gonna you know they're gonna have to adapt fast. Prolo does not have long to uh, to save himself from this tournament. But uh -huh. wow, wow, that worked. Is that just like? A full screen up angle? Yeah, <laughs> full screen, 100 <laughs> speed. If it was 120, he would have got it. Right, a little quicker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, nice. yeah, the mix up potential of that is insane. Okay, okay. The amount okay, of different okay. options that guy had. There we go. We're going to Bring game it five. Back. We're going to game five. Let's talk about ball speed a little bit. All right, all right. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. one thing I find really interesting about this game is the ball speed management to make sure that it's at the right speed to uh, either get quick releases or kill speed. Mm -hmm. So what are players going to be doing to keep the ball speed a little bit lower? Typically how you keep the ball speed low is either down throwing it or bunting it. Those are the only two options you have to reduce the ball speed. And as you see with some players, bunting is a huge part of their gameplay. They love to bunt it around, get a build special, get a super that they have. And some players don't bunt it necessarily as much, but down throwing works super well as well. Cuts the entirety of the, that ball speed down to a fourth. And all you need is 120 to kill someone at a full health bar, so you don't even need to get it that high, really. And then the advantage of having it below 100 is that it releases much quicker, which meant that uh, Ripper could get the punish there. Right, right, right. The major downside, though, to having a low ball speed is that not a lot of players are super comfortable at that speed, and it's very easy to get caught to mistake necessarily where the ball is going to be and how quickly it's going to be there, because you're predicting it to go a little bit faster or a little bit slower, necessarily. It's very tricky. It does make things a lot more tricky. Oh, yeah. Wow. Oh, the, the guesser doesn't die. Nothing out of it, though. Wins the scramble somehow. Okay. Both players are... Ooh, doesn't quite get the top one. Hits the parry. We're yep. seeing a little bit of Goblin Tech here, you know? Not, not, quite, not quite true Goblin Tech, but definitely... Pseudo-Goblin Tech, Hogging sure. the wall, making yeah. sure that they're as safe as possible in these pretty sketchy situations. When you're unsafe about necessarily where that angle's gonna go, you haven't practiced it as much, just always always safe idea to hug by the wall. As long as your opponent isn't there with a wall bunt that's about to kill you, wow. it's a pretty safe place. Oh, that parry! That was huge. Huge smash parry. That was a big parry, yeah. Huge Ripper. smash parry to go into top three of Combo Breaker. Yeah. He this doesn't is, care. He's just doing it. <laughs> Full sending it. Yeah, this is a... Whoa, okay. Lomo. This is amazing right here. Is Ripper about to 5 0 Pro here? Off. Ripper somehow adapted. He was shaking his head after the last game. Oh, pause? Uh, no, no, no. We, no weak shit. We don't take free stocks. No. Play it out. It'd be really inconvenient to take free stocks, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm eliminating you. Okay. It's on the wall. Down throw it on there. Say. Fish angle, come on, do it. Up. Do it the the up angle doesn't even hit him. He catches <laughs> that. Oh, that was like a last second catch. That was so uh -huh. close. Oh, the oh he's done he, it. He he's taunted. Done it in the taunt. He taunted before the ball even hit him. He hit it with the down angle and then taunted. Huge result for Ripper. Ripper. What an insane run. We're getting some Ripper chant. We're chance. getting a Ripper chant in the crowd. That is crazy. And you know what? He should be popping up right now. He should be proud, yeah. No. The, this is the run of his career. This is, absolutely. Did you think when you hopped on a plane that you'd be hearing a Ripper chant at Combo be, Breaker I don't 2024? I'd be commentating Ripper. <laughs> yeah, I mean, honestly. I mean, honest, like, you know, I don't, I'm not being mean to the guy, but like, like he was not projected to get this far. Oh, he, no, he's still got the grapes. Oh, he's, it's the he hasn't grape even finished part. them all. Save those grapes. You do not want to be wasting them. So those. smart. Such a you tactical need one decision. one for South and one to eliminate Jaden. That's true, that's true, yeah. One for the bracket reset. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, shout out to the popcorn in the crowd. Shout out to the we, we love the popcorn. <laughs> we love the popcorn. Oh god, I hope they're still open. Uh, you might be. You might uh, be. Online. I'm probably going to be depressed. Yeah, you know? gotta get there like 9 a.m. Two hours for three ago. Three hours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's pretty competitive. The popcorn game this year. Yeah, it was a long line every time, but totally worth it. I think I got it a while ago. It's it's great. It's absolutely worth the wait. Okay, we are getting set up. Mm -hmm. Got Amanda sitting down at the Amanda set. Amanda's not playing. I thought Amanda would be playing. Right? Yeah. I, I thought so, so sent, too. Sent home early. Yeah, super early. That was 
I was amazed when I saw that I had to fight her in losers. Like, what are you doing in losers? Why are you here? <laughs> this is insane. Yeah, considering, uh, I mean, I, I think it speaks to just the, the quality of the entrance this year. Oh, yeah. There were some yeah, yeah, good yeah. players last year, but the uh, the bracket run you had to make to make top four this time was so much harder. So many more players, yeah, that are just like, a lot of the people who come down to land tournaments, too, you typically get, you typically get like six or maybe eight or so players who are pretty active in the community and like go to the Discord servers and compete in tournaments. I'd say maybe 12 of the 20-something entrants that we got today were pretty active members of this community, and we had some really good games as a result, some really Really, really high quality games of plays. Yeah, it's been really nice. We've we've sort of seen three areas of the game converge. We've seen the uh, the tournament crushers, who we've seen a lot of on stream. But I want to give extra shout outs. Shout out to the crowd, first of all. Yeah, shout thank, out to us. Thank you for being here. I want to give shout outs to the new players. Yep. The yep, people yep. who the people who come to Combo Breaker and they try out new games. We absolutely love those people. Love you 100. percent And we've seen a couple of people come back from last year. They enjoyed right. the game. They wanted to play again. So those players are great. We've also seen the return of a couple of the old heads. Yeah, I yeah. I mean, I met Lalo for the first time ever this year. Me too. I don't think I met him uh, 2019 when I was here either, but check out Monk over, over there See in the Monk back. See Monk in the back? Monk yeah, is, yeah, yeah. I mean, Monk's a legend in this I game. mean, he plays Melee. That's how... Monk does... Um, <laughs> I was cheering my backside off for uh, Monk playing Samus in Melee earlier. Mm -hmm. I was screaming the house down. As soon as we all stopped playing Blaze yesterday, we all went back to the hotel and watched his set on the stream, the bot of it. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, it was a good set. He it was really real well. good. Yeah, he went down to like the wire, like last hit, I think. And then, uh, as well as that, we've got IMT making a return. IMT, IMT. had to go home early because mm -hmm. uh, he's got the dad debuff, so he has to like do dad things. Like mm -hmm. He didn't quite bring the Dill hat this time, but he had a pretty like good that. hat. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, yeah, his, his hat game wasn't as, as good this year. wasn't as strong this year, he but didn't, he, he, also didn't didn't, uh, he also didn't place that well this year compared yeah. to last year. Yeah, you got eliminated by me. <laughs> well, just, I, I want that on record. By the way, in case you didn't hear. In case no, you didn't see the pen and paper. It's such a pleasure to see uh, IMT and Monk. And it Lalo. really is, they're, yeah. They're such, such, uh, such nice guys. Mm -hmm. And they've been, in, you know... Uh, and been, I mean, they're the forefathers of this game. Exactly, yeah. Before I was playing the game, you know, I, I would watch YouTube videos of Meller and Monk and stuff like that and on Zan YouTube. And Zan and K9. Zan, K9. Yeah, honestly. And oh, seeing yeah, that Zan they're still was, here I met is, Zan for the first time. I love Zan so much. Zan's great. He's Zan's such, amazing. such a nice guy. I totally forgot that he's like a really good player. Because he's so he, like unassuming. He eliminated person. me. I took out one old man. He's insane. I got, I got taken out by another. Zan's crazy. Yeah, like he, he was he was so composed today. He was he, he was crushing it. Oh my god. Yeah, the most calm person in the world. Like like oh, water. You see the Nitro hoodie in the background? Oh, yeah, Nitro hoodie top That's right very there. Very epic. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Very Epic, the 15 year old coming from Canada. <laughs> Might his, be the youngest player here <laughs> <laughs> with the parents. We love you made to a see sick, it. right? It's been really nice to hang out with, uh, with some of the Crojo as well. That's right, that's right. Uh, I met Croak, I met uh, Nuja, Amanda, of course. Space was here, Very Epic, Cat Day. Cat Day was here. It's, uh, I, it's amazing. I'm going to go home and, like, I can't even. I'm never going to be able to compete in a LAN again. Actually, it's sad. It's sad right? for me as a Brit. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah because yeah. Uh, this is the one time a year I get to hang out with my uh, my Leafly League homies. So yeah. we're hitting up the Portillo's after. Definitely. 100%. It wouldn't be a Leafly League play stream without talking about food. Mm -mm, mm -mm. And uh, we're going to we're gonna hit it up. One more grape for one the road. One, one, <laughs> one grape for the set. Okay, now this is... This would be... This would be the uh, the upset of Ripper's career for sure. This is such I'm a hot I'm from SoCal. Thing. I flew in with this guy, and I kind of want Ripper to win this set. Like, do I'm a, I'm a <laughs> pop off if Ripper wins this. Set. I do. I think it's gonna happen. No. Will it happen? Maybe. Maybe. I mean, we didn't think he'd make it this far. This is already what top three, uh, right? Yeah. This is for He's this top is three. This is for second. This is for second. Yeah. Yeah. So Lu loses out in third. I mean, these, these four players are already winning medals. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Shout out to, and, and on that note, I've done a lot of shout outs today. I want to shout out Combo Breaker. Combo Breaker, great tournament. These guys are the absolute best. I've Wonderful been refereeing here this year. They look after their stuff so well. Oh, yeah. They are such nice people. They're so well organized. Really accommodating. Their streams too. are sick. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Very yeah. well organized, They've very well maintained. Everything super clean, super safe environment too. The it security really that's is. here is super comforting. I'm super it doesn't glad even they're smell all here. Back here. What's up with that? Barely, barely, yeah. The air conditioning, great. Wonderful. Putting in a lot of legwork, I'm <laughs> it was, sure. It was, it was a little chilly earlier. Yeah. I saw like I saw Crollo like having to warm his hands up before his game. That's that's rough. But um It was raining pretty bad outside earlier, so Yeah, that is true. We've had a little cold front. What can but, you do uh, with Chicago? You know, the thing about Combat Breaker is they, they go out of their way to put on tournaments for smaller games. We are a growing game. We've got 50 people in this bracket, but even then, having the support means a lot to us. So, shout out to Combat Breaker. Everything counts, and we, all, we really appreciate it. All right, we're going in. We got the uh, Southbank Candyman. 
Yeah, South auto lock and on Candy against Ripper here. We're gonna see some some Candyman nonsense. Gets okay. the parry, gets the confirm. Okay, he's on it with the confirms today. He's not me. He's, he's hit about four in a row. Just just free. Instantly going straight into the special off the parry. Wow, the angle storage. Yeah, he had no idea how to catch that. That was that was unfortunate there. So for the viewers at home, because obviously you know not everyone is as knowledgeable about this game as some of us. That's right. That's right. If Candyman does a special, it usually goes at one of his normal angles. If he, he, does a he smash, can choose like one or uh, three of, of it's angles. It's one or three, yeah. But yeah. If, if he doesn't input anything, then it goes at the smash angle. Exactly. It's a really good hand. Or whatever angle you were already holding prior to that, if you weren't doing a smash. Yes. But that's smash right. is the only one that's useful because you can't get that. It's the only one weird, yeah. He lives! He lives that! Hold up! What's going on? Oh. He went for the grab, he was he a bit low. He did go for it, that's insane. He had the right idea, just missed the, the jump, all the time he needed for it. Ripper's ahead? Ripper's ahead on HP Barely right ahead, he's chasing <laughs> him down! Dude! There is that one gif. Of a Raptor oh. player, bunting and parrying. <laughs> and I just don't want to, look, come on. We're showcasing our beautiful game, don't do that shit. Oof, just barely missed the blunt and gets hit by that. All oh, right. He doesn't take the hat we off. We got the taunts. We got the taunts. He's going to try and choose him out. Now, this is. Gets him. There it is. Gets it. Yep. There it is. Yep. And this is what you need to be doing. You need to be playing the speed around your opponent's health bar. Exactly. If they've got one HP, why are you speeding up the ball? Lay him out. Lay him out. Also, a note about the taunting that's happening a lot. We've seen a little bit of it already in this tournament. It's all about the mental game. So much of this game relies on conditioning and baiting your opponent into doing specific action. But if you can get into their head, you've already won like half the set. Yeah, absolutely. It's um, I think it's particularly uh, effective on Candyman as well. Oh my god. There's a, there's a stereotypical Candyman loving, funky fresh beats enjoying player. Oh yeah, definitely. He's the just, silly character. They just want to be silly. They want to candy dance. They want to talk. He is the goofiest, and you know goofiest what? goober. It upsets people. It's it gets in their heads. So upsetting. And if, if South could get in his head, spam talks, spam dances, it might just be enough. You've got to take every advantage you can in this game. Granted, we're on burst nine burst here. Burst nine. This is one of those rare, rare cases of the game going beyond 2 minutes, 30 seconds. Is this dude going to get an instant promotion to Delta after this? Like, what's going on? Oh my god! He's on the wall! Oh my god. Okay, he's going to get the place put up. Okay. Gets the Whoa! grab! Oh, the grab! Gets the kill! Oh Sal my god. loses game one! South loses game one. To Ripper! One, two, three, four! The god grab. That was actually, actually disgusting. Combo Ripper? <laughs> Combo Ripper? <laughs> Let's go, oh Nitro! Oh my god, oh we're seeing the god. South Nitro pick? We're seeing the Nitro pick. There are so I many Nitros think, already in this tournament. Nitro. All the Nitros got eliminated. Oh, oh what's going on? What's going on? They're, they're doing the Slayer rule. They're going to change host, I think. Uh. Oh, literally, they're going to do the Slayer rule. They didn't host swap? Because they are playing on two online oh, yeah, setups so what's, right what's now. What's going on there? So they might. Oh, Red Nitro. No, he just wanted uh, to change uh, the color. Okay, he okay. didn't want to change the host. Red Nitro is synonymous with the player, very epic. Yeah. Uh, you can see him in the back right. In the player uh, game when we come back to it. Beautiful Red Nitro t shirt. Wonderful Nitro t uh, hoodie. Yeah, we all got to sign <laughs> the crowd it. Crowd just like, do not play this game. Change color right now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they don't want to see you guys play. You they want to see look, Red you Nitro. You've got to keep the crowd on your side. If you're not crowd working as a player, you're going to get booed. Never want that. Never want that. Mm -hmm. And people are already going to cheer for the underdog. Always. People yeah. want to see an upset. Ripper hasn't won a lot of tournaments, honestly, and him coming this far so quickly and already a game up above South? I South's gonna need I to make a miracle I've happen to turn this momentum around. I don't think I've seen Ripper even top eight a tournament. He's got to have top eight a I'm sure he has. He had, I'm sure he hasn't top four a tournament. But don't, come on. Come on. Did we just lock under Elevator? Elevator, this, elevator. When we play this game, we have rules about stage striking, but most players will commonly just say, random, no random, Elevator. No elevator. I, that's what I do. I don't want to play this stage. It's too long. This These stage players is so long. Chose, I think South chose this, right? He had to have. Uh, he lost the last game, so he didn't do it. <laughs> I'm speechless. We're in, I'm we're speechless. In dis we're in disbelief right I, now. I can't believe what I'm seeing right now. Okay. It, I mean, it sounds like... It had to have been like a mental play. Like, oh, I'm going to mess you up by going to elevator. You're not going to expect to so. see it coming. Because South is probably already shaken up. He's, oh, totally. Yeah, He's no. lost the game on Candyman. He's supposed to supposed to dominate this matchup. And he's and he's finding it hard. He's at the very least going even, even losing losing scenarios where he should be winning. He's got some really impressive Nitro tech here, but oh, okay, all right. Now the thing that the thing that Southpine does have is experience. Oh, a lot of it. So, yeah. I don't, I don't. I can't think of another player who has played as much of this game as Southpine. And specifically training mode. Wow. He has amazing oh, technical fish. skill. His ability to execute on some of these stuff is amazing. Like it is super impressive. Okay. Tries to save zone it. 
Nope. No. Oh, oh my god. Dies to the grab. Is that the SoCal throw? <laughs> Is that the Ohio throw? <laughs> this is... I... 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 I don't even know how to commentate this anymore. Like... Gets the confirm again! I mean, this is... Like, the most hyped tournament I've ever watched. I actually can't believe what I'm watching right I really... Yeah, this is... Madness. Okay. Alright, okay, yeah. Okay. Parry, parry. That's Confirms what you need it. to be doing. In South Pine Shoes right now, slow the ball down. Hit your free parries. Slight health disadvantage here. Ripper knows it! Ripper knows it! Okay. He's gonna keep the ball speed down now. If either player knows the situations where the ball is theirs, it's sound. One more. Round the wall. He lives that. Okay. okay. Where's the cup? Hits the cup. Doesn't. That's the cup. There's the cup, yep. Okay. Goes for okay. down he angle catches, still. He catches. Doesn't catch it. Wow. Ball. Catches that. Goes for the oh special. Oh my god. The Ripper up the on South Pine right now. South Pine, two stocks left. That's unbelievable. But, you know, he so runs into the parry across the stage. So Why did he do that? Keeping it competitive, but it's. Oh my god. Ripper's in his head. Oh, get the crab! parry! The Ripper, crab! Ripper is living in his head right oh now so God. hard. South has been so compromised. That's like a curb, so that's he gets crazy. the parry okay. again! The corner pressure. The straight angle! Hopes is quick. outrageous. That's what we call the South Pine That's quit. how you know it's South Pine That's what we call the That's South Pine quit. The switch let's to go. Raptor! Let's go, let's go, let's go. This I never I thought see. I would see a Raptor on this stage. Like, South I was expecting Sonata, I was expecting in. Nitro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Raptor Dittos? He Raptor said, you Dittos. Know what? You know what? I'm the better player, and I'm going to beat you at your own character. That is what this pick I'm, says, I'm, absolutely. I'm betting it all on black. I know that I am better, like, fundamentals-wise, so I'm going to prove it here with the fundamentals character. You know he, he needs to do it now. He needs last to do it chance, now. yeah. He's gonna, if he wins this, he has to stick with Raptor the whole time through as well. Uh, yes, he'll be character, like character love. That's right. Wow! Great catch there. Doesn't get hit by the down throw. Doesn't quite get the grab there, but Ripper had the right idea on it. Doesn't get hit by the down bun. Is that good? Wow! Can South Pine keep his nerves together? Up angle? Maybe. Wow, the down. catch! That's outrageous. Okay, okay, okay. okay. he clutched it, he clutched it. Take the taunt, take the taunt. You, now, you've got to start feeling yourself here. Yeah, exactly. You've got to build exactly. up momentum in South Pine's shoes. Mm -hmm. He cannot turn back. And the oops! Oh my and gosh. This, okay. is, this, is, this is a game of this, just... This is really This is BM right here. This, this is are, really funny. These, these guys are bullying each other right now. Yeah, we talk so much about players thinking about area control, thinking about optimal play. This is real lethal league. The real lethal league is the mental control. It's live. It's in person, there's a shouting crowd, and you're playing Raptor Ditto. You're so playing you Raptor Ditto. Smash Parry for your life. <laughs> oh oh my god! Oh my god. Why did he smash Parry? Who told him to do that? Happen. And you know what? And he's, he taunts! He's loving it. Ripper needs to build the momentum now. Clean it out. Great catch. Wonderful air turn. That's so impressive. I'm, I'm on the edge of my seat. I, can, I, 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 I don't know what the hell's going on right now. South Pine gets a good lead here. He has a little bit of an advantage right now. Small health. Ripper's going to try to make the most out of that. He always likes to abuse these situations, but... He does. He does. He likes these... He likes Ooh. these... Uh, he likes these uh, little mind games. He's letting South just kind of okay. flounder out a bit. Parry. Great parry. Right, wonderful. South Pine getting close to, uh, to tournament stop. Oh, oh my god, the confirm! You can, see it, you can see it falling apart now. This is where it's really hard. He's got to lock him right now. Hits him with the bring it. Doesn't get to confirm! Hits the parry! The Gets grab. the grab! One more. He's got to bring it back. There's special there. Raptor special grabs it. Doesn't get anything out of right it. Right now. He gets hit by the straight. Straight along the ceiling. Confirm that's on the it. special! And that's there it. There it is! And that's it. There it is! South Pine! Three. Oh, that's gonna sting. Oh. That's gonna hurt. That's gonna, yeah. Look, we care a lot about this game. South, South Pine taking it. South Pine taking it. I think pretty. Look, this is look, this is an emotional game. It is. No, it absolutely it's is. It's an emotional game. It, we totally. We, we play this game all day, all week, all month, all year. We've played this game for five years. This game means a lot to people. I bet you anything South can money match him after this. Uh, you know what? They will money match, and I'm sure South Pine will put up a good show. But yeah. right now, right now, Ripper comes out on top 3-0.
3 0. He, he beat the candy? He beat the candy. He beat all the characters. <laughs> he beat like all of them. Yeah, that was Candy. That was Nitro. Nitro, he beat the Raptor Pizza. Dude. Yeah. And no. he taunted the whole way through. That is an un <laughs> unbelievable result. That's absolutely that amazing. That's result from Ripper. Now he, he's got to do. We thought that that last match was hard. Now we're now we're getting into like hell territory. I'm just I'm I'm <laughs> I want to apologize quickly to everybody on camera. I brought a California flag with me. I'm from California, so is South. I was gonna root for him. I didn't root for him like at all that match. I was just so aghast <laughs> by that. I couldn't believe it. He's already gone. I barely even had a chance to show it off or anything. <laughs> now I need an Ohio flag. I need a, I need a Wisconsin flag. I mean, I just I can't give Ripper enough props for the run he's made today. Um, so impressive. I'm so proud of Ripper. This is a great tournament set for him. He has been doing so good. He has every right to be so proud of this results and these performances. Yeah, he really does. Mm -hmm. Especially, I mean, he's really young. He doesn't look it. Look he that, really look does that not bit. look it. Ripper but he is, is only 18. He's one of the youngest. <laughs> he's one of the youngest players here. He really is. Yeah, he's younger than the guy to the right of him. And he is, despite the massive beard, he is just 18. Tune into Ripper's stream for beatboxes. He does uh, do that on the streams. Yeah, it's pretty cool sometimes. Okay, let's talk about this. Let's talk about this finals match. All right, so all right. Ripper has just done the impossible. He's now going to do it twice. He's now going to do it thrice. Because because we're in losers. We're, we're in grand finals. He would have he's, to bracket reset. He's got to make the here. bracket reset against Nella. Now Southbound is good, mm -hmm. in my opinion. I think I think there's a whole tier above when you go to Jaden. I, I, I don't think they're on. The, I don't think they're even on the same tier. I think they're pretty close or equivocal, but so, so, don't get me wrong. South is, South is a legend, and yeah. I think a lot of that has to do with how few players there are in the community, and especially when it gets to the really, really best players that we have in the community. Like, I mean, Jaden's like easily top five, and he's and he's been in playing this game since like maybe, maybe before six. I was in back in like yeah. 2015 and stuff. Super young when he started getting into it, okay. now, and we're playing on elevator. <laughs> Look at that. Gets to confirm off the special already. It's like five seconds into the match. These guys are crazy. Ten seconds in, he already crazy. took a, a stock. Now, on the one hand, Ripper's running hot right now. Ripper's he's, got he's all on the emotions. He's a big yeah. winning streak. Uh huh, uh huh. Oh my god, <laughs> he's just burying it. But he's also tired. And he's playing against one of the best game, one of the best players in the history of the game. Although I will say, this is the map that uh, Monk was able to beat Meller on. Wow, that charge! Yes, yeah, stay that on the wall the there. What a skill charge <laughs> I've ever seen in my life. That was disgusting. I don't think, I don't think River's too familiar with the elevator. Honestly, it's a great idea for them to be taking him here, but this is. I don't think so either. We don't have Dave Stupid like in LA. That's true. So you That's can true. take a player back to the same stage. You can keep constantly going back to the same stage. That's right. Okay. But did they random here or did they pick it? I think they ran. They ran up here, yeah. They oh, just wow. With it. That turnaround. That turnaround catch. And he died off the street, too. To have, at this point in the game, you know, we've been for like four hours. At this point, to have the ability to see that coming, turn around, and catch it is crazy. Ripper is so locked in right now. Uh huh, an unbelievable okay. amount of stamina. These grapes are helping him so much right now. But it's the grapes. It, it has it's to be, grapes. right? It has to be the grapes. Maybe it's them thawing out yeah. or something. That's what does it. Or... This guy's in the Ripper above Jaden right now. Jaden two stocks. Ripper three. Ripper may have the health disadvantage, but health isn't necessarily the biggest factor in this game. Already doesn't matter. Already at kill speed for both. Okay, oh, Jaden so smart. He brought down the the speed to just below kill speed. I love that so okay, much. Okay, okay, okay. He and, knew. He knew. Uh huh. And, and Ripper's been landing grabs all day. Yeah. He, he says doesn't matter. I'll I know, just I know parry. I, know I don't need to. I can be safe without parry. Another confirm. Oh, yeah. There's the, Whoa, grab. the grab! He gets it with a down throw! You usually can never get that! Okay, okay, okay. Jayden, so, look. This is why Jaden's one of the best. Ripper's gonna cheese this so hard. He wants <laughs> this cheese so bad. He knows he wants the cheese. We Come on. Know what's coming. Oh! That response oh, was amazing! He got it! Jaden had like two frames he to respond to that. That was crazy. And this is the thing about cheesing in this game is just because you missed the first, there's always more. He misses the grab! He, he would have got it, but he was facing the wrong direction. Down throw, very predictable, yeah. Yep, okay. yep. One more. No! Oh, yeah. Failed blaze get up. Failed blaze get up, this yeah. This is the thing about a uh, blaze get up is super safe, mm -hmm. but if you miss it, you're in a lot of trouble. I think it's above like 30 speed or 40 speed when it makes your character go into a knocked down state, and from there you got a few options. You can either do a traditional get up where you just like get up, you know, you use the movement abilities and you just like character stands up, no invincibility right. frames at all. You can do bunt where you have a little bit of invincibility, or you can do the swing button where you get the big blaze get up, yeah. and that's got the most invincibility because it has a big effect on it, but it makes you do a taunt, so you got a huge amount of end lag on it, and it's very punishable.
Yeah, the thing is, Bump Get Up is really safe. Oh my god, he's just gonna do it. He's just gonna do it! Blaze Get Up. Bigger radius, you can grab more balls. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But a, lo a lot of this That's game also comes down to punishing Blaze Get Ups and getting people debating them Absolutely. into doing it. Jaden is taking game one. Well, Jaden is really good at it. It's the adaptation. Yeah, I know. Jaden oh. is at his weakest in a best of three. Jaden is at his strongest in a best of ten. <laughs> yeah, probably. And so, you know, every game they play is going to become even more difficult to, to, to make a game one. Interestingly, but, though, Jaden's one of those players. Jade's one of the players who does not character switch either. They don't do uh, any other character picks, so they're just going to be sticking with Sonata, I think, this whole match here. Yeah, Unless, granted, we, they we did see one last year, but it was it was very unusual. It was like really, really unheard of. Mm -hmm. Was it Jaden that we saw play Latch earlier too, or uh, against South? I believe so. Or was that maybe South Latch? No, yeah, that was Jaden's Latch. That's right. That's right. So maybe if we're lucky, we'll get to see the Crocodile again. Jaden has that That's no shot. That's no shot. Oh, these corpse juggles. You wanted some good corpse juggles. I, I did want some good corpse juggles. And Jaden is another Jaden will always provide. Really beautiful. Oh, yeah. So that's just one of those characters that is just so satisfying. So much fun to play. So much fun to watch. She's so expressive. He gets for grab out. That's really interesting. Because that's not what you'd normally see out of that. The thing isn't so good for the viewers. When you uh, waste the parry in this game, it's a free steal. You just take it out of their hands. Yeah, pretty much. Usually you steal it with a bump, or if you're expecting to swing back, maybe a parry. Stealing with a grab is really unusual. It's feeling those grabs. Today. I think it's a great idea, especially when it comes to timing mix up, because the way how grab works, it kind of hides the ball for a second, makes the opponent kind of doubt where it even went, but I don't know. Yeah, Jaden is so so tuned in right now. Man! You can see it with that ball control. He's, he's going crazy. And this is where Jaden's got. Yeah, I saw him putting that music when he went in. I can see his face right now. He's so composed. They are so yeah. No, they're breathing nicely. And that's the hardest thing in this game. Get in your own head. I can't. I can't imagine how they wouldn't be getting in their own head. This is burst nine right now. Jaden may have one game up right now, but Ripper just needs to take one more stock. Okay, okay. They're both about to die. Just need one hit. Ripper takes the game. That is a nasty timing mix-up. Just clutches out. That, this is what Raptor is good at as a character. That's right. That's he doesn't right. take that much skill to press the button, but he's there at the right time. Uh -huh. He's got the meter. He knows where he needs to be. He sees it coming, and he punishes, and he gets the kill. And it's a super important skill to know when you should be using the short release on the special and when you can use that long release. And he's doing a really good job of differentiating between the two and just making sure to make it so that the opponent has no idea which one he's going to do. Gets oh the my grab. God, grab! How is he so reactive to I've these? I've never seen this many grabs in any. Set. He's the only one who knows that it's actually reactable on land. That's crazy. <laughs> That's true. I think these, these online players don't know. No, yeah, we had no idea. We thought it was just broken the whole time. Okay, a little bit of back and forth. Oh wow, that, that turnaround was so that was fast. Killer. I didn't see that at all. I, I, I don't know how he does it. Yeah. On controller too, like dang. Yeah, so this is the thing is um Jaden makes the controller work really, really well. It's actually relatively unusual. I feel like we see it more keyboards than controllers. I think we've seen half and half so far in top boards. I believe Crollo played on uh keep right. or uh, controller, I mean. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Oh the grab! Oh, the grab. <laughs> The crowd is going crazy right now. They can't believe these. The one thing that gra the grab does do is it puts you the psychological. Level, exactly. It? Absolutely. Nothing says I'm in your head like landing that grab. Wow! Nothing says I'm in your head like a parry deny. The DK grab. Shout outs to DK. <laughs> Shout outs to DK. <laughs> I think for some viewers that can be pretty confusing why that grab didn't work because the parry was there, right? But if you released your uh, your bunt input, which makes the parry happen during your swing, if you release it just a little bit early before while you're still holding it, you can make it disappear. And if they go for the grab, they'll That's get good. grab denied. Yeah, and the grab deny is a, is a really interesting part of the, the RPS mechanics yeah. that are going on there. So sometimes you want to hold it out, sometimes you want to release it. Getting grabbed always does 45%, so getting grabbed isn't always the worst thing in the world. If you're at full health, you're not likely to die from it. But uh, if you let go of the grab, if, sorry, if you let go of the parry, especially on the ground, that's confirmed. If you let go of the parry, especially on the ground, they can down bun you, and that's 100% damage. That exactly. That might kill you instantly. Mm -hmm. It's all about weighing up the different, uh, different aspects of the gameplay. Doesn't get the wall bunt, but just throws it he and hits him. Yeah. <laughs> it's just thrown anyway. That's insane. I just can't believe this button so well. Yeah. But there's, there's a lot on the line here. There's real money on the line here. There's real pride on the line here. Mm -hmm. Taunts! <laughs> Let's go! Oh, he's feeling himself yeah. now. Oh my god. 
Oh he wants god. it! Oh my god, dude! Come on, acapella. <laughs> Jade. <laughs> Live, die, fish fry. And that is how you set the mental game. That is how you set the pace That's of the it. match. Because he knows. Ripper he has a huge stock Ripper lead. Is a more emotional player. Exactly. Than no, yeah. So get in his head. Mm -hmm. You have to do it. Ripper starts off with a bring it taunt. I'm going to start with a bring it taunt, you know? Just match their tempo exactly as you can. Wow. Okay. okay. They're making a lot of hard guesses here, but it's just the way this game has gone. Exactly, yeah. I guess yeah, maybe that's to Ripper's advantage. Maybe Ripper wants the guess game. I think if. if you're not, going if you're not playing against Arcadia, then maybe you can get away with it. Maybe you can, yeah. Reality doesn't roll back every five seconds. There we go then. Bit of ball control. Good spike there. A little bit of luck of control. Amazing yeah, catch. It. The charge shot. The oh, white girl charge. catch. White girl charge. Catches it anyway. Oh. Massive grab. Oh, just barely misses Angle that. Yeah, yeah. We should probably explain what a white girl charge is. <laughs> probably. A white girl charge is when you catch the ball in the most unimaginable place possible. I don't know why it's called that. I'm sorry. You catch that's, it as far just, away from where you should safe zone as possible. I believe Meller invented that name, so we had to say it while he's here, <laughs> while he's playing. Meller is J-Don't, by the way. Yes, that's right. Jaden uh, known for his many, his many different usernames. Uh, Doesn't confirm that. I guess it was probably just bad positioning for it. Okay. Oh, okay. Nice catch. Now we're seeing the uh, flexibility of the start special. Doesn't parry there. He's oh, learning. He's learning. A difficult one to catch. Straight angle. Safe just it. throws it. Okay. Yep. Oh, oh Ripper. Sonata, she really wants to get those uh, those back spikes loose because it's a really shallow angle. Once it gets going around the screen, it's uh, it can catch people out. I believe that this stage two right. is believed to be a pretty yeah, advantageous for Sonatas. Not necessarily, it, you know, varies from player to player, obviously, yeah, but. Yeah, no, Jaden does not want this cheese. You know what? He shouldn't have it. No, he doesn't stay, need, stay doesn't need to do this. Him. Exactly. Just don't be don't eat a parry. Okay, okay, we got a ball speed up. And now we're back to real lethal. Oh, he went for a random grab. Okay. Wow. Oh, he doesn't grab that one, though. Match. Gets confirmed. Loses the advantage he has, but huge health advantage. Could still cheese, we're, but we're back, no, we're back no. to cheese. Smash oh, parry. Wow. Another huge grab. One more. Oh, oh, the parry! Round the world parry. He saw him charging it, said, Take I'm going to be there first. That was actually just beautiful. Even to back okay. up with some really easy cheese right there. We got the one more stock chance. Who knows which player it's for. <laughs> Catches it. Doesn't get hit by that. Way too low ball speed. Nice straight. Gets more special. Yep, doesn't confirm it, though. Oh, the... oh my god. Nice bunt. Caught it. Jaden has ball control now. It. Loses it. Oh. 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 Miss yes. input. The composure. And that's it? That's it right and there. That's, it. that's 3-1 Meller over know. Ripper. It all came down to one miss so input. On, I was so focused on Ripper's comeback. I, <laughs> I, I, forgot we were on I forgot we were on two games. That's it, yeah. I thought it was 1-1. One, one. It was crazy. <laughs> Meller, Meller from winner's side just needed those Meller's, three games. Pop it off. And you know what? Meller should pop off. That was oh, one yeah. of the most hype, hype games I've ever seen in five years of Lethal League plays. Ripper was holding it down like crazy. Oh, he uh, finally finishes the last grape. Uh, he deserves know, it, man. If he ate that grape earlier, maybe he'd have made it back. Like the sensu being that it is. Yeah, who knows? Who um, knew? I want to give a shout out to Ripper. That was just such an unbelievable run. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, okay, cool. We are we are we're done with grand finals. We're done with Lethal League Blazer Combat Breaker. We Thank are going to go so much. into a medal ceremony. So we're gonna we're gonna get some players up on screen. Uh, we, can, we can chat about this. We, we were gonna chat about Mac One because we were expecting South One to come back. But um, you know, this is putting Ripper in really great stead for for the qualifying tournaments that are coming out lately. And maybe he'll be going to Mac One. Who knows? So for the viewers at home, Mac One is a is a is the big invitational tournament that we're having at the end of this year in September. But we have qualification tournaments. Two of them, right? Uh, there, are, there are two tournaments. So these are open qualification tournaments. Uh, there's one, uh, I've got them in front of me. There's one on July the 13th and there's one on July the 27th. Open invitation and the top two players from each tournament will advance to Mac 1 to go and play up against some of the best players in the entire world. And much like this tournament here, it's going to be stacked. Lots of good players. We're going to see the return of Meller that you guys just saw. South Pine's going to be coming back. Curb as well. And maybe Ripper. And maybe Ripper. Maybe Ripper. Who knows? Qualifying tournament. Yeah. He's got to do well to qualify in tournament, so we'll see how it goes. But if he does anything like he did at this tournament, he's got a sure spot in it. So I'm, I'm excited to see how Ripper's career goes on from here. That was amazing <laughs> performance. <laughs> They're calling out for South Pine. I don't think he's sat there anymore. Where's South Pine? Someone bring him back. 
Now's the perfect time to remind people about uh, the LLB Stadium. That's right, that's right. Our Discord server so that we have, our community-fed and uh, grown Discord server, we've had it. It's all, all made by the community. Previously, we had a lot of interactions on the official Team Reptile Discord, but for reasons or another, we wanted to have our own tournaments and our own sort of communities, so we just made it ourselves. And we've been hosting tournaments. New player challenger tournaments are the most interesting ones, I think, because we get a bunch of new players to come in, and it's always great to see people who just, I mean, some of the wackiest play styles that I would have never assumed people could even do or would ever do, but I love to see it. it. Yeah, yeah, we it's a lot the, of fun. Uh, we had the NPC bingo card last year. That's we right, were, the bingo we card. drinking every time we saw, <laughs> saw uh, Sonata on screen. Mm. Um, and uh, just to remind you, that's on discord.gg slash LLB Stadium. So please come and sign up. Okay, we're going into the medal ceremony. So in fourth place, Amanda handing out the, uh, the, the medal. Shout out to Amanda. With and Duelist in the background, one of the Combo Breaker goats. Oh, good. South made it back. Okay. South made it back. Lovely. All right. And fourth place, Crollo. Big shout out to Crollo. Big shout out to Crollo. And crazy third run place, South Pine. South Pine, look. He had a, he had a, he had a rough uh, match in that losers, losers final. You know he's not quite as happy and as he could be with that, place, but he's proud. He Ripper, one, two, three, four. The absolute highlight of the tournament. Amazing performance. No and one saw this coming. And your grand champion, Jadon. Jadon. A lot of us saw coming. Bella, lift eye, fresh fry. Oh, yeah. Mikalu. <laughs> the one and yeah, only Jaden wins it again. Back to back champion. Back to back. Right, one more That's time, right. give it up for your top four. And they're going to be taking home their medals. Putting them pride in place. I think I think Ripper might sleep with us. <laughs> I think he might have it under his pillow. <laughs> Give him his own special bed. Yeah, and, and he should. He should. And he he should, deserves he it. He should be so proud of that result. The returning Midwest champion Meller defends the territory from the invaders. Says no to SoCal. Says no to everybody else, even the Ohio. <laughs> <laughs> South trying to get the the win on the RPS, but thank you guys so much for joining us. We really appreciate you guys tuning in. Staying here with us through all the technical difficulties that we may have had and just checking out the game, honestly. We love having anybody come in and just watching it. And, yeah, thank you guys so much for being here. Yeah, yeah, thank you very much. Uh, I've been Hi Hi. And, uh, My name's Scooter. by the one and only Scooter on the mic. And, uh, you know, sponsored by Lethal League, Lethal League Blaze Stadium and Team Reptile. Uh, signing off. Thanks for watching. Take care, y'all.